My name is Randy White, and I'm going to be demonstrating the sling and swath. This is the basic sling and swath. We'll be using the sling and swath in the amputation, and when we do the amputation, we want to make sure that it is definitely at a 45 degree angle here, uh, much like this right here. And when we do a radius on the board splint, we're going to make sure that it's at about you know 70 degree angle here. And if we were going to use this for for a uh, fractured humerus, we'd make sure that this is at a 90 degree angle and that's where I'm gonna go with it right now, okay? All right, the first thing is, is we're going to get some terminology. This is a, this is a cravat and what this is is a triangular bandage folded into about a three and a quarter, three and a half inch uh, strip and we're gonna, this is called a cravat. We're gonna use it for a swath, okay? The next thing we're going to do is we're going to open up our triangular bandage. Okay, you can tell it's already folded into a cravat. Once the triangular bandage is open, you can see it's a triangle. Okay, the triangle, the apex of the triangle here, will actually go toward the injured extremity. So when I lay this out, it's going to go over like this pointing toward the injured arm. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to tie a pigtail, which is nothing more than an overhand knot, into my triangular bandage, and that gives me a cup for my elbow to sit in. Now we're going to put the triangular bandage on with the elbow sitting in the cup, and then we move the rest of the bandage up and over, okay? Once we move it up and over, we're going to have both the ends right here. And the way that we adjust that is we roll these things back and forth and that gets the, the triangular bandage up further so it gets the sling up further, okay? Now we're going to tie a square knot in the uh, triangular bandage here. Now anytime that a knot hits the skin, we want to make sure that we pat it because there's a lot of nerves and vessels rolling down in here in the spine, so we want to make sure that we pad that with some padding, with some 4 before 4s or whatever. The reason we use a square knot is they're easier to get undone and they hold tightly. Okay, now you can see he's got this. Now, the principles of splinting are that I have to immobilize the joint above and below. So this immobilizes the joint below pretty well, but it doesn't have anything to do with the joint above, okay? Now I need to put on a swath. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use my cravat and I'm going to use it for a swath. So I'm going to take this over his head and underneath his arm. And I'm going to pull this around, making sure not to touch the fracture site and making sure that I tie the triangular bandage here or the swath here in the void, okay? Once I tie into the void and tie a square knot, then I I don't have to pad this because it'll be in the void. And basically, that is how I want to see a sling and swath.